Well, hello everyone and welcome to Omura Koen. This is Omura Park in Nagasaki, Japan, and I am out here for Hanami. In Japanese, the word for flower is Hana, and the word for look is Miru. So if you put them together, Hanami, we get looking at flowers. So basically what I'm out here doing today is something I like to do every year, and it's obviously a big part of the culture here in Japan, and I'll explain more about it, is I'm at one of my favorite places in Nagasaki Ken in uh, in all of Japan really. So when I first came out here 10 years ago I was living and I didn't really know very many people uh, but the first time I was able to come out to the park it was such a fantastic experience. I came here to study Japanese gardening so as you can see kind of behind me uh, we've got lots of different flowers here and they're styled in the kind of traditional Japanese way the kind of thing that I learned when I came out here initially and so I'm out here and I'll actually show you a whole bunch of the flowers. Now, right now we're kind of in the, uh, near the end of the season. We've still got quite a, fl uh, quite a lot of flowers out here, uh, but you'll kind of see these. I can turn around, you get a little bit of a shot in the background there uh, of some flowers and I'll walk around and show you some more. So basically what Hanami is, is people get to come out here near the kind of beginning of April, a little bit before that, maybe the last few weeks of March and then the beginning of April, depending on where you are in the country, it kind of starts at the southern part and then the flowers work their way up. And you can actually see that in, on the news and they track, you know, where the flowers are coming from. So it's actually a beautiful sunny day. It's April 2nd here in Japan and it's uh, because it's right at the middle of the uh, the vacation time between the school year it's different basically in America we start our school year in September and in Japan it starts in April so right now we've actually got a lot of people there's still you know school groups that come out here but most of the students that are graduating or moving to uh, the, you know kind of higher levels of school they're out and having fun right now so even though we're still kind of in the middle of the uh, Hanami season, we've still got quite a few flowers left. And you can see some of that kind of pink behind me will come and kind of take a closer look at it later. Now one of the coolest things that I remember about this park was that everybody was so, you know, warm and friendly, especially, you know, people are drinking a little bit and they get to, you know, kind of relax and they're a bit more welcoming. So, you know, right now, as I mentioned, it's the middle of the day, so you got kind of fewer people. We'll turn the camera around. So you got fewer people outside today, but you can see we do have people sitting down, relaxing outside, and this is kind of the beauty of Hanami. Now in America, it would basically it's illegal to to, uh, to drink alcohol outside, uh, you know, even at like a park, unless it's you know kind of a private property thing. Uh, but the cool thing about Japan is that you can actually walk around and drink alcohol. So if you do drink, you can just bring your alcohol to. Uh, a park and bring your food and anything else you'd like and just sit down and you get to meet a whole bunch of different people. Now as you can see all of this pink that's in the water, these are all of the flower petals that are coming off the trees. So it makes for, you know, both a, a beautiful carpet when you're sitting down on the grass but also you've got the lovely canopy or the kind of treetops above you. Alright, so now we're coming into one of my favorite places to sit out and give you a a little bit better view of it. You can see there are already quite a few people out here relaxing and enjoying the day. So right here in this spot in the middle, I spent, you know, my first year, first full year living in Japan. Konnichiwa. Oh. Iですか? Sumimasen. Ego shabarimasu ka? ちがうしって言わせて。あなたっけ。え、名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前は名前
もう丸勉強しないといけないけどね。な、直れたちよりも日本語上手。ええー、そんなことないですよ。<笑>絶対違いますよ。もう、もう座,座っていいですか、すいませんけど。<笑>いいな、ありがとう。<笑> okay, okay. So now this is this is one of the really cool things about Hanami again. See, I've got like I've just met this guy. <laughs> Now yes, I'm a, he's, and he's trying to tickle me over here. I, ju I just met him like one minute ago. So right now so I'm out here. I have this uh, this lovely family. So you can tell you can tell your names again. Say say hello. 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 Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so bright today. <laughs> now, one of the things you'll notice about, you know, I was just basically walking and I saw some kids over here. <laughs> And you know, for practicing your English, especially if you're living in an English speaking country, if you go out to a place like a park,、uh, especially where you've got you know, groups of people, like you know, parents and their kids, everybody's out having a good time, it's a really great way to start conversations. You can get into a conversation by you know, trying to talk with the kids first, because usually they're like a little bit, you know, a little bit less shy and more willing to go out and meet new people. So if, you, like, you know, if you're like, Have like a baseball or something like that, you're at a park and you can kind of begin a conversation that way. So we can have a bit more of a,、uh, a, a great conversation. Now I can sit down and you know, get to talk with the kids, and then after that, you know, I can kind of talk with the parents a bit more as well. Okay, so I'm here, and you know, as, as I expected, they're asking me for signatures and stuff. You know, it's,、uh, one of the, you know, the, the, the difference in the cultures is really. So, you know, I don't know, here, here, here. Ah. <laughs> so, people love、uh, out here the just kind of the.、Uh, one more? One more. You did it. One more. One more. One more. s i g n s t a t e d his name. So, my name, D R E W. So, r o m a j i n e s So, in, in、uh, a lot of the. This, especially kids in Japan, they've got English. So they've got lots of English written on their shirts, and everybody likes the way English looks. Just like we have in,、uh, in America, you know, we like to have、uh, some people like the、uh, just kind of the look of Japanese or Chinese characters. So we've got、uh, this is my, my English name here, and now I'll write it in Japanese. I'll write it in、uh, katakana. I can't, it's hard to write like this. So we've got Do D U. Do D U. Hiragana, Hiragana. And Hiragana, Hiragana, Hiragana. Kaku, Kaku. Kaku, Kaku. Kaku, Kaku. Okay, so this is my, my signature. I like to do, especially for Japanese kids, they don't know any better, so I just do a crazy signature like this. <laughs> Anyway, well, I will turn this off and then we will come back in a moment and show you some more of Omura Park. All right, and the journey continues. So, you see how fun it is to come out here for Hanami. Everybody's relaxing, having a great time, and、uh, it's just a beautiful day. It's really a fantastic day for Hanami. So, we'll see what other things we can get into today as we walk.、Uh, we're crossing the bridge from the main、uh, kind of area. The,、uh, you can see over here the main entrance. And now we're going up to the castle.、Let's、see if we can find the castle for some lovely hanami. So, one of the really cool things, you know, you got all this lovely little rivers over here, people sitting outside having food. You got some corn and hot dogs and ice cream, and you can get takoyaki. So, tako is the word for octopus, and、uh, yaku is to kind of cook something. So, we got.、Uh, Takoyaki, cooked octopus. So it's kind of like little balls. It's almost like kind of pancake dough、uh, with a little piece of octopus in it. So this is、uh, takoyaki. See the lovely octopus over here. And then、uh, soft cream, ice cream.、Uh, and then we got some traditional Japanese sweets over here. I might have to get something, but you know, it's kind of a.、Uh, I don't know, I need to watch my figure. I'm going like a little bit of a diet over here. Then, one of my favorite trees with some of the leaves coming out here in the spring. This is the momiji, the Japanese maple. All right, and now we are walking our way up to the castle. 
So this is Omura Castle. I really like just the whole atmosphere of this place. Very traditional area with lots of beautiful flowers that you can come look at. Oh, it's just a perfect day out here. I wish you could be sitting out here to experience this with me. We're going to walk up the stairs and see what we can find. So now we're getting up to the top of the mountain. You can hear I'm a little bit breathless. But actually, now we get to see what's up at the very top. Now usually, uh, you know, temples and shrines, those things, like you come here, there's a kind of an order that you do things in. Usually you come over and wash your hands first. And there can be different ways to do it, but usually they give you some kind of uh, a little bit of example of how you're actually supposed to wash your hands. Now what can be tricky is if you've got, you know, just kind of one hand, and you, especially if you're trying to hold a camera, you know, ah, it's kind of hard to wash your own hand, but, but just the feeling of it, uh, it's very relaxing to wash your hands and get kind of cleaned up as you enter a temple or shrine. And then after you finish that, we've got an area where you can come up, ring a bell, say a bit of a prayer, deposit a little bit of money. And enjoy the day. We've also got places for people to write particular wishes that they have and, you know, prayers for the future. Especially around this time of the year when we're starting a new school year so a lot of people are wishing for you know a, a good prosperous new year all right well I hope you enjoyed getting to walk around in the first video in this series we'll kind of see where it goes depending on the questions and comments and the number of likes that kind of thing if this becomes a popular video I'm really excited to make more and kind of get into some of the things that maybe people aren't so familiar about about Japan so if you know you want to learn about like a particular you know martial art or tea or something like that that maybe there's already plenty of videos about that I'd probably be less interested in making a video about that I really want to kind of get into some more detailed things that maybe people don't really know about so please uh, you know, comment below this video. Be sure to like it if you're enjoying this video and hopefully I will get lots of great ideas for more videos to make. Well, I will leave you with uh, kind of one final note here since I'm in this beautiful setting. One of the reasons that I come to places like this and the reason that I got interested in Japanese gardening in the first place is that it because uh, it makes me so relaxed and calm. So if I'm ever having other things that I'm thinking about or worries or I've got too much in my life that's happening, I can come to a place like this and I can forget and I can really focus on uh, you know, whatever it is I'm thinking about. Or especially if I have a particular problem, I can really clear my mind and focus on that specifically. Now I bring this up because a lot of times I'll hear in a comment or a question from a learner that you know they say like my English sucks or you know I'm, I'm not happy with my English or something like that and what happens when you uh, you kind of say a general thing like that is you you kind of trick your mind and you make your mind think about too many things at one time so what I recommend is that you know number one remember that your problem is probably not that big so anytime you have something that you're worried about there's probably a better way a more simple way and a clearer way of expressing that so if you can come to a place like this or you know whatever that happens to be for you that will help you have a much better experience and be able to solve that problem much faster so remember if you're able to watch this video and you understand most of it your English is already fantastic so don't say that your English sucks or anything like that you know you may have a particular problem and if you can find that particular problem then you can solve it so maybe the pronunciation of one or two words is actually a problem and the problem is really much smaller than you thought it was so find your place like this wherever that is it could be in a city or it could be you know out in like kind of nature like I enjoy but whatever it happens to be have a fantastic day get down in the comments below let me know what you think of this video and I'll see you next time bye bye